Isaac broke YouTube algorithm with one video. He currently has over 142k subscribers with only 5 videos. His video style is unique, but is it hard to make it? In this video, we're gonna cover one of its most used technique, which is the camera movement. But not just a simple camera movement, a 3D swift camera movement. Well, it's as easy as drinking a glass of water. So smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and let's start. So here I am inside of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. Now I'm gonna bring the image in here which is the comment section of my YouTube channel. By the way, thank you so much for showing love towards your channel. It helps me out a lot. And now what I'm going to do on the next step is that I'm just gonna press S to reveal the scale and I'm gonna zoom it like this. Now we want to turn this layer into 3D and we want to add a a smooth camera movement for this video so what i'm going to do on the next step is that i just want to highlight one of these comments for example i'm just gonna highlight this comment now in order to make it work we need to go towards the pen tool we need to set the fill on off which is currently is off and i'm gonna set this stroke on 30 pixel and i'm gonna draw a line like this now as you see the line will cover the entire uh, text so in order to fix that we need to first let's just uh, set its mode on for example soft light you or you can choose the different lights if you like for example hard light linear light it all depends on your design i'm just gonna set it on soft light and then what we need to do is that we need to navigate through this tiny triangle in add menu we need to add a trim trim path so i'm just gonna do that and we open the trim path and in that way we can animate the stroke so let's set the stroke on zero let's just go one to one second and then let's just animate from zero to hundred i'm gonna press f9 to apply the standard easings i'm just gonna go towards the graph editor now we can click on this icon so we can see the entire graph let's select each handle and let's give it an influence for like 69 percent for each handle so let's get back by pressing shift plus f3 so and let's play that is good now let's set up our 3d scene in order to do that we just need to click on little cube in here so that is good now our uh, scene is set on 3d but we need to add a camera so i'm just gonna right click in empty space in here in new i'm just gonna select camera now the type is set right now on two node and you can choose two node or one node and you may ask what is the difference now the one node is just like a real life camera imagine you have your camera in your hand you can move it and manipulate it however you want but um, however about two node camera we it will just rotate around what we call a point of interest and this will be good for the scenes that normally you cannot create with the one node camera it doesn't really matter so i'm just gonna stick to two node camera but the preset i'm just gonna set it on 50 millimeter which is the standard one and i'm gonna hit ok all right now the rest is easy well on the next step we need a no layer in order to control the camera and why do we need that well roughly speaking if you have a single camera and you want to add multiple and property into it it will be really hard to control the easings and also create the movement that you want so in order to fix that issue we, we're gonna need a null object which i'm just gonna make and i'm gonna call it the camera controller so let's just call it cc and we need to paint the camera into null and don't forget to set the null on 3d now if i press r to reveal the rotation now we can control the scene by using the y or z or x rotation so for this video we're just gonna need the x and y rotation so i'm just gonna click on it to set a keyframe and also we are going to need the position of the null now what we need to do is that we just need to sort of uh, rotate this scene something like this and let's just zoom in and play with position like this okay that is good and the highlighter as you see works fine but we have an issue in here and that is we have some gap between the background and the screenshot that we have in here now in order to fix that problem you need to create a new solid layer and uh, which i'm going to do and you need to turn change the background color and lastly you need to push it beneath the screenshot layer so 
this will fix the issue however we have some gaps in here so we can just use the null scale to fix that problem and let's just get back to zero frame okay this is now good let's just also move both okay and now press u to reveal to reveal keyframes let's go towards two seconds which is in here and now i'm just gonna push it towards here and now let's just rotate it a bit backwards and in here so have some depth like this okay this is good and now what i'm going to do is that i'm just going to turn them into standard easings by pressing f9 i'm just going to go towards keyframe velocity and let's set the influence on 75 percent for each handles so we will have a graph like this so however i'm just going to use the motion tools because i need to do is this step for three layers that i don't want and let's also shift the highlighter to here okay so so far this is our basic uh, movement now on the next step what we need to do is that we need to sort of add a secondary motion in order to make it better now in order to do that we need to add a new null object so i have mentioned before if we wanted to do that all on one single camera layer it will it wouldn't be possible so i'm just going to parent the camera to the second camera which i which i would like to call it the master camera controller mcc and then what i need to do is that i just need to turn it into 3d and i'm gonna just press you on the camera controller and when it's in here i'm just gonna press p to reveal position r to reveal the rotation and then i'm just gonna use another trick to create an effect like this so let's just set the easings on 75 percent as well that looks good now what we need to do is that i'm just gonna go towards the camera one and i'm gonna enable the depth of field so and then i'm just gonna increase the aperture to a number such as 40 so every time it zooms in we will have some blurriness on our text so this makes it good so as you see if i increase it all the way we will have some blur text but just like that we will have something similar to the motion blur effect so that was all for the isaac um, fast transition effect and i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot for the future content thank you so much goodbye